Hey, we're looking at percentile working backwards. This is question number two. A group of students each wrote a test and received the following grades in increasing order or ascending order. So that's very important. Uh, you cannot do percentile backwards if your numbers are not ranked appropriately. It's been done for you in this case. So my lowest score was a 56. One kid sat there with a 56. Well, the highest score in the class was a 96. Um, and I want to know that if you received a test score in the 64th percentile, so not that you got a 64, and if you don't confuse yourself, you're not this guy over here. Um, you're in the 64th percentile means you beat or tied 64% of all the people in that particular sample. Always important to remember, you need to know how many people are in the sample. So there are 21 in this case, in this sample here. I'll show them to you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, and 1 for a grand total of. 21 people in the sample. So we're going to find who it is that beat 64% or tied 64% of everybody else by following the little system that we use, and it's pretty straightforward. You take your percentile, 64, and you divide that by the 100, sorry, and then you times that by the number of points in the distribution, 21. And we'll see what we get when we do that. So 64 divided by 21 gives me, oops, what did I say there? My apologies. 64 divided by 100 times 21 is equal to 13.44. Now, the first thing is we always, in percentile working backwards, Eliminate that decimal at the end or round the number down. Always in percentile backwards, we round down. So the percent, the uh, rank of the number that we're looking for is the number 13. Now, a lot of students will mistakenly stop right here and say, hey, you know, I've done the calculation, the answer is 13. I want you to remember that that 13 is the 13th position that you've calculated there. And you think about the context for a second. You know, we're talking about students who wrote tests, and here's their test scores. There's nobody sitting there with 13%. So it doesn't make any kind of sense, that answer, uh, if you think of it as the percentage on the test. What that really is, is this is the 13th person. The person who got the 64th percentile is the 13th person in this distribution. So we have to go and find him. We always, 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 for percentile backwards, have to count in the number that we calculate. So we're going to count into this distribution and find the 13th person. So there's the first five, that's 10, and we're going to go 11, 12, 13, right there. So the answer is 80. The person who scored the 64th percentile had an 82 on their test.